if you'd seen British champion Don Cockle training for his fight with La Staza to decide who's to have a crack at Rocky Marciano's world title, you'd have seen he really meant business. Just look at the price of eggs, said Farmer Don. He certainly put all his eggs in one basket to meet Roland La Staza of New York, who went 11 rounds against Marciano. Which brings me, and you I hope, to Earl's Court ringside for another Jack Solomon's big night. And we're into the ring right away for round one. Don is the chubby one, 15 stone one pound of the way into Starza's 13 stone seven and a half pound. As usual, we're picking some of the highlights of the 10 round bout which went the distance. It was one of the best fights I've seen for a long time. And here it goes with Don pounding in with those right and left hand punches and Starza, as you'll see all through the fight, dangerous with the right hand. Starza looking small and compact for a heavyweight, but plenty of fire and plenty of power in all these punches. Don Cockle not at all awed by Starza's reputation. Loving in and punching to the body. He's got to watch he doesn't go down on belt line there. And not for the only time in the contest, referee Eugene Henderson warns Don Cockle to keep those punches above body line. Starza's big gun here is the right hand. He keeps slipping it in with great speed and accuracy until he starts to tire in later rounds. Cockle cool, trying to bring Starza to him, jabbing out a left hand, a left hand that cut Starza's nose and had it bleeding all through the contest from this very opening round. A fairly quiet opening round, and Starza comes over, coolly and calmly sits down. He thinks. Maybe I have this man summed up now. Press from all over the world to watch it, and Cockle seems to be in a slumber, relaxing completely. The ideal situation for every scrapper in a big contest. Referee speaks again about those low punches, and later tempers may become frayed about it. Taza, like a cat, stalking Cockle. Cockle waiting for him, and then that thundering right hand. He hasn't got the speed behind his right hand that Lestaza has, but when it gets there, it rocks and shakes the American fighter. Cockle's not a bit overawed. He clumps and thunders in there with lefts and rights to the body and to the head every time he sees an opportunity. Lasaza must be thinking, this is a great big target here. Why isn't it easier to hit? But Cockle, very deceptive despite all his weight. He hops on his toes and he clips very solidly. Cockle backing away and still depending on that left hand and the right hand of Lestaza again fortunately misses as he crashes across with it. It travels only a short distance and any time it really lands on the point it has Cockle in trouble. Very solid body punching. These body punches of Don Cockle took toll of Lestaza's strength. Again, Lestaza misses with that right hand and Cockle apparently by accident but with consummate ease just moves away. There chubby cockle looks, and that solid right under the heart of La Staza, sapping the breath and the strength from it. This time inside, La Staza, a little guilty of hitting low. And Cockle's coolness was one of the highlights of this contest. He just strolls back to his corner and relaxes if he's waiting for the next bus home. Is around with Cockle forcing the pace again. As each round came along, Cockle got more and more confident, thundering in after La Staza, ignoring those biting lefts on the crashing right hand. Jabbing at his own left hand, and every time he jabbed it out, the crowd shouted for him and said, Box him down. Staza stalking again. He prods him with that left hand, trying to find the opening for the right, but as the rounds go by, that right hand of Staza's gets wilder and wilder, looping around the house to find that great big target of Don Cockle. right hand by Cockle, and that shook the American fighter. Again, you can see that right hand of La Staza. It's slower than it was in the opening round. It's lost its ping and lost a great deal of its accuracy. Cockle prepared to mix it, but inside, La Staza isn't the better of the two fighters. Right lead, a dangerous punch to lead with, but it got home several times for Cockle as it did there on this round. 
Inside, Lestaza must groan under the weight of Cockle when he leans on him. And again, Cockle just strolls back to that corner and sucks in the welcome air. Cockle again strolls over. Once again, referee going to have a quick word with them. And they touch gloves and they're away for the famous last round. This really brought a wonderful fight to a thrilling climax with Starza all out to get a knockout and try and take this fight out of the bag. Cockle, feeling fairly secure in a points lead, is not taking any chances yet. Again, Cockle, with apparent disregard for defense, keeps that left hand very low and just clubs it up anytime he sees an attack coming. Lovely left jabs by Cockle, but he takes a quick one on the nose as well. Again, the Starza's nose continues to bleed. deceptive right hand. It just seems to float through the air, but every time it finds the body of La Starza, he gasps. Cockle slipping left hand. That low punch, and he tries to apologize. La Starza brushes that glove away and says, I don't want apologies. Don't hit low again. And he comes in with new fire and new fury. But Cockle, too solid. He waits for him. He's not overawed. He punches out with both hands. Again, that desperate right hand try by La Starza. And he gets it over, and Cockle's in trouble there. He really got it home that time. But Cockle straightens up and he comes in again. La Starza missed a golden opportunity there. Cockle punching away with both hands. La Starza driving in one of La Starza's best rounds this last round. And they get tangled up. Referee tries to break him away. He breaks him away. What a push it must be for Eugene Henderson here. Again, that right hand thundering round towards Cockle's body. But Cockle takes it all and brings up some lovely uppercut right hand punches inside. Cockle now learning the know-how. He doesn't get so many punishments. Inside with Lestaz, he tangles him up and holds on. Referee pulls him apart again. Lestaz are eager to get to grips here and try and get this great British heavyweight, this huge cockle on the canvas. He tries again and misses with that wild right hand. He's banking everything on a right round the house punch, but he just can't find the tip of the chip. Cockle prepared to wait even at this last round if necessary. A tired Lestaz are leaning on. Cockle prepared too to let him lean on. Cockle now looking dangerous, jabs out that left hand, it just like the right hand floats out a lot of power behind it. And that's what's bleeding the face of Lestaza. Inside again, standing away, night up fighter, here's the bell, Lestaza continues to box, and Eugene Henderson takes a referee flying tackle and catches Lestaza around the head. Lestaza begins to make for the wrong corner, and then turns around to say we're all friends really to Don Cockle. Don Cockle strolls over to Lestaza's corner, shakes hands, is congratulated, and the referee comes over, and it's Cockle's hand he raises, and the crowd go wild. Cockle has won. The man they thought was finished a year ago, two years ago, has now beaten one of America's best fighters. Obviously, no dark shadow of Rocky Marciano lies on Don Cockle's mind. That's Roland Lestaza taken care of. Let them all come now, says Britain's heavyweight champion. <laughs>